The episode opens in a desolate area where a person stands observing through binoculars as a drone descends and plunges into the water. Nearby a man floats in a lake with the red drone hovering above him, casting a blue light. The man experiences vivid flashes of his family, spaceships and shootouts. The man regains consciousness, opening his eyes to see the drone overhead. As he begins to swim toward the shore, he is accompanied by the drone. The drone, addressing him as Ezra, checks on his mental state and begins asking questions, which Ezra answers. Suddenly, cries for help emerge from the lake, revealing another man and a woman, both of whom are equally disoriented and unable to recall what's transpired. Fina identifies the wreckage on the shore as the remains of a warship named KQ, triggering Ezra's memories of an invasion. They realize they all died in different years. Abram admits that he's 67 years old, despite appearing to be 25. The Red Drone explains that they were resurrected in their prime years and their memories differ because of the varying times of their deaths. The group, with their limited possessions, follow the drone, trying to understand the purpose behind their resurrection. They soon come across partially destroyed arches, and Abram, thrilled with his youthful and strong body, touches unknown hieroglyphics he finds on the arches and is thrown back, claiming he saw everything. Suddenly, the Red Drone is shot down and Abram is wounded by a second shot. The group flees behind a hill where Ezra sets up an ambush and captures their pursuer, a man named Jax. Jax denies the existence of any settlement and reveals that the glowing substance on his neck is a skin rider, a parasite integrated with the human body, and he apparently needs the sparks. Fina shows her skill with a weapon. Abram insists that touching the symbols on the arch made him feel the vastness of the outer space, provoking mockery from Jax, who suddenly breaks free and lunges at Ezra. However, Fina quickly turns Jax's weapon on him, and they securely tie Jax and leave, ignoring his claim of knowing Ezra's brother. The group soon takes shelter in a cave, where they find others with glowing parasites on their necks, including Ezra's brother Silas. Meanwhile, the resurrected individual discuss ways to recreate humanity and ponder where the aliens obtain the initial genetic material. During the night, Abram's wound becomes inflamed, prompting the group to lower him into a small pond where the sparks are released. And by morning, Abram emerges fully healed. Fina expresses her confusion to Ezra, questioning why she was chosen out of millions of great people. Soon they spot the high walls of the settlement in a distance, as skin raiders with glowing necks close in on them, Ezra stays behind to delay the pursuit and recognizes his brother Silas amongst the attackers. Fina and Abram reach the settlement walls, but just when capture seems imminent, the gates open and a yellow drone neutralizes the skin raiders, allowing the fugitives inside. The drones then retrieve Ezra, carrying him into the settlement. In response to their questions, the drone leads them to rows of graves where the settlers rest. Later, it opened the doors of an abandoned military base for them, and meanwhile, the skin raiders capture a man who'd escaped from them. Silas discovers that the glowing creature in Duncan's neck had stopped functioning and promises to fix it. The resurrected individuals learn that the settlers died from a new virus still spreading throughout the region. The yellow drone requests them to release the sparks into the vassal with water, explaining that the sparks can create a vaccine if they bring ingredients from the living lake. Fina begins to experience nosebleeds and remains at the base to repair the damaged red drone while the men go to the lake. On the way, Ezra tries to understand the system that brought them back to life and the drone operates on sparks, but the controller of the spark remains unknown. The men reach the lake and release the spark into the water to collect the necessary ingredients and in the settlement, Fina was startled when Ezra's wife Lynn suddenly appears. Lin, who has been a nurse during the invasion, offers her help, but then mysteriously vanishes. Meanwhile, on the lake shore, Ezra confesses to Abram that one of the skin riders is his brother Silas, indicating these people are also resurrected. He recalls seeing the alien spaceship for the first time and signaling to the brother whom he had considered a worthless spoiled child. Determined to apologize and save Silas, Ezra reveals his plan. 
Back at the settlement, a hologram of Lin reappears to Fina, aiding her in repairing the red drone. The yellow drone warns of the approaching skin riders, and Ezra tells Abram to run while he attempts to intercept Silas, but ends up surrounded and subdued. When he regains consciousness, he finds himself alone with Silas, who reveals that he forbade forcibly transforming Ezra into a skin rider because he wants him to join voluntarily. Silas explains that each skin rider has a companion on their neck that telepathically connects them with others. Now a leader, Silas signals Ezra to leave. Reunited in the forest, Ezra explains his plan to save Silas to Abram. Returning to the lake, they find that the Sparks have created three vaccine capsules. They administer the vaccine to Fina, whose condition has worsened, and she regains consciousness. The scene shifts to Fina having a nightmare about the settlement being attacked. Fina was screaming and running through it. Abram came and woke her up and asked if she was in a bad dream, and she told him that it was a bad memory. Abram discovers a glowing obelisk in a blocked room. Silas argues with Duncan about the companion's control over thoughts, likening it to slavery. Ezra and Abram learn about hieroglyphics and discover weapons in the forest that can be used against the skin riders. Silas plans brain surgery to reduce signal delay, and he told this idea to Duncan and Jax, and he explains why Duncan is faster and humans will always have an advantage. Fina and Abram discuss his experience when he touches the arch. He told Fina to experience it herself, and she did, but she ended up mocking him. She then went back to fixing the red drone, while the hologram of Lin was talking to her. The yellow drone brings Ezra to an evacuation site, where they unearth a powerful weapon. As he was there, the skin riders came and surrounded him, and using this weapon, Ezra scatters the skin riders and escapes. He came back to Fina, and Abram showed them what he found. As the three of them were talking, Lin showed up and Fina told him that it's a hologram and her memory is stored in the red drone. The scene opens with Ezra's flashback before the invasion. Lin was preparing to go to a pharmacy to get antibiotics for him. Meanwhile in the forest, Jax tracks the runaways and explains that even the sparks made mistakes, leading to flawed individuals. He was ready to destroy the little girl, but Lin persuades him not to. Simultaneously, Silas extracts the crystal companion from a deceased skin rider's neck and instructs one of the women to take it to the ancestor. They bring Lin to him, and while communicating with the obelisk, Abram suddenly realizes that he's lived in the settlement before, confirmed by a notebook he finds with his handwriting. The scene then opens with the skin riders arriving at the settlement and capturing Lin. Meanwhile, Abram is having flowers flashbacks of how he died in the previous life. Silas came to where Lin was captured, and she asked where Ezra was, and he asked her to cooperate and convince Ezra to join them. Fina later speculates that they've all lived there before, and Abram talked to the obelisk, and it allowed Fina and Ezra to go out. The two emerge determined to rescue Lin. The yellow drone confirms this and leads Abram to a graveyard, showing everyone buried there including Ezra's grave, revealing that he'd also been resurrected and lived in the settlement at one point. The yellow drone guides Abram to the next grave, where he finds himself and encourages him to start a new life honorably. Duncan repairs the red drone and to everyone's surprise, a hologram of Jax emerges from it. Ezra and Fina found Duncan tied to a tree. Ezra pointed his bow at him and Duncan told him Jax tied him up and he told them that he is dangerous. Ezra decided not to free Duncan, but Fina argued passionately that they should. Ezra accuses her of letting her love for Duncan cloud her judgment, leading to a heated argument between them. Lin was trying to escape, and meanwhile, Ezra separated from Fina and gets captured by the skin riders. Fina returned to Duncan and asked how she could trust him. They kissed and she decided to free him, and she told him that they should go to rescue Ezra, but Duncan warned that it was too risky. Despite his warning, Fina was determined to go though, and as she walked away, Duncan smiled an evil smile behind her back.
The scene shifts to Duncan and Fina eating and talking in the past, and in the present, they were walking in the forest. Suddenly, Fina pointed her weapon at him and told him to tie his wrist, and he tried to convince her, saying that he can't help her with his hands tied, and suddenly, Duncan snatched her weapon, but he used it to attack a man behind her who was about to attack her. In the bunker, Abrams tries to find out from the yellow drone where the progenitor was located. However, she did not know and Jax, on the other hand, does know and heads to the bottomless lake. He delves into it and emerges in a hidden cave. Silas tries to convince Ezra that life in his community is better than in the bunker, and he tells Ezra that by joining them, he would truly be free. Fina escapes to trust Duncan and agrees with his plan, and meanwhile in the camp, Lynn's escape is discovered. Duncan immediately receives a message from the other skin riders and agrees with Fina's plan to send them on a false trail to enter the camp and save Ezra. The pursuit heads to another location, and Silas demonstrates to his brother the capabilities and companion gifts to the human body, dipping his hand in a vassal with sparks and explaining that they could not kill a companion as it goes against their principles. He tells Ezra that if he wants to kill the companion, he will have to kill the person. Fina and Duncan infiltrate the camp, seizing the skin rider's weapon. Jax reaches the ancestor's dwelling place and asks them to explain how the drone works, and several human figures emerge and the ancestors show Jax how the drone functions. Fina and Duncan find Lynn, and Duncan asks the woman to leave while she searches for Ezra. Ezra and Lynn got reunited, and the protective barrier detects a companion in Duncan and does not let him pass unlike Lynn. Fina is led through the barrier, and the pursuit led by Silas bursts into the clearing. Duncan pushes Fina behind the barrier, and they prepare to fight. Abram runs to the obelisk, which lets the men through on the condition that Duncan remains in the yard until they figure out how to free him from the parasite. Meanwhile, the ancestors express concern about Jax's hatred for humans, noting that humans are better carriers than the sparks. They advise him to find a compromise. Duncan confesses that his companion is still weak, but gaining strength. He recalls the settlers and confirms that Kylie is alive. Jax reprograms the Red Drone, erasing all human memories from its systems. In the cave, the hologram of Jax's wife tries to talk to him, insisting that she is still herself. Jax dismisses her as an illusion and commands the drone to turn her off. Despite her pleas, the drone shuts her down, and Fina unties Duncan, but she falls asleep and Duncan's companion receives a signal from Silas and heads to the bunker. Meanwhile, Abram confesses to Ezra that the drone showed him the memory of another woman that he had seen a year before the invasion, indicating someone knew about the invasion and had offered help. Duncan locks the drone behind a panel, then attacks Abram, knocking him out, and he heads to the obelisk, but his human side persists, causing him to scream in frustration. Ezra hears him, but Duncan closes the door and deactivates the force field, and Ezra rushes to Fina, and they barricade the bunker doors. Duncan's companion confesses that everything was done for the sake of the weapon that he hid, and was ready to reveal the location of Ezra's daughter, Kylie, if they hand over the bunker to the skin riders. A debate ensues and they decide to deactivate the parasite using Lynn's medical knowledge. Jax returns to Silas, questioning why Duncan was still not letting them inside the bunker. Silas explains that Duncan faced some resistance, and Jax expresses dissatisfaction with Silas, accusing him of failing to infect Ezra when he had the chance. In the bunker, Lynn tries to figure out how the companion works and confesses it can cause great pain to its host. It warns her that if she tries to remove it from Duncan, it will inflict pain on him, and despite the warning, Lynn gets close to Duncan, and the companion starts causing him pain. Ezra and Abram conclude that the settlement has existed for at least 10 years, suggesting survivors must have burned the fallen. Ezra remembers that there's electricity in the bunker, and Fina uses a cable to destroy one of the skin riders. Abram finds the yellow drone, and they realize Duncan was acting as a transmitter, so they move him 
him to another room. Ezra asks to tell his brother that he loves and believes in him, puzzling Silas. The yellow drone scans Duncan and discovers the parasites have affected all his human organs, making him unsavable. Fina couldn't believe this and pleads with Lynn to save him, but Lynn tells her that it's impossible. Abram tries to get answers from the obelisk and the yellow drone reveals that Duncan was given access codes by a woman with knowledge symbols on her bracelet and the yellow drone shows an image of the woman and Ezra recognizes her as his mother, Eleanor. Meanwhile, Silas prepares to break down the doors, but he is led to the cemetery by Jax, who reminds him that he is not human. Silas is then arrested and the yellow drone confesses that Eleanor was one of the infiltrators of the revival of the human race. Duncan's companion is knocked out with a tranquilizer and tied to a table, and he wakes up and points to the direction the survivors went, advising them to find the wild girl. The yellow drone finds the weapon Duncan had hid, Ezra and Lynn say goodbye to their friends and set out to find Kylie, and Jax activates the drone intending to remove the human personality from Silas, and he learns about Ezra and Lynn in the forest and sends skin riders after them. Fina confronts Duncan, declaring that she's ready to kill him to free her loved ones, but the yellow drone knocks him out. Duncan regains consciousness in the cemetery, relieved that Fina did not harm him. However, the yellow drone has injected a beacon into his body, allowing him to track him. Meanwhile, Ezra and Lynn find the wild girl and ask her to guide them to Kylie. Silas regains consciousness with the red drone, informing him that it preserved his personality and suppressed the parasite's capabilities. Ezra and Lynn notice that they're being followed and try to evade the skin riders. But suddenly, arrows fly from the rocks, killing the skin riders, and emerging from the shadows, a group of survivors approaches and escorts Ezra and Lynn and the wild girl to their settlement. Back at the camp, the red drone explains to Silas that it suppressed the parasite, but not removed it completely. Meanwhile, Abram and Fina dig up a broken drone from a grave, hoping to retrieve data from its memory. The red drone deceived Duncan by using the hologram of Jax to get him away from the composite so that Silas can escape. As Ezra and Lynn grapple with the reality of their daughter's rejection, the settlement comes under threat once again. Jax and his skin riders close in on the hidden camp, driven by their desire to capture the resurrected individuals and exploit their knowledge and abilities. The yellow drone told Abram and Fina that Silas was the first skin rider infected by spores or eating an infected animal. In the mountain caves, Rowan encouraged Kylie to accept Ezra and Lynn as her parents, and Silas collapsed in pain, and the red drone induced a controlled state, placing him in his parents' cabin. Abram enters Silas's mind, finding a church. Realizing Silas won't regain consciousness, he describes the lake of the progenitor the parasite's energy source. Silas knows humanity won't survive unless the lake is destroyed, and Ezra uses trickery and Kylie kills a skin rider, and Ezra stays in the cave, bidding farewell to everyone. Meanwhile, Abram and Fina plan to destroy the progenitor, and the yellow drone explains the weapon has three parts, but only the lower part, which destroys the progenitor, remains. It needs the middle part, requiring a human personality, making infiltration difficult since the progenitor has studied all skin riders. Ezra intimidates the skin riders by shooting Duncan in the leg and taunting them, and Fina reflects on her promise to free Duncan from the parasites. The yellow drone reveals Duncan's location in the workshop, and Fina arms herself, but a skin rider releases Duncan before she can act. Duncan reminds her that she cannot kill him and leaves, and as Kylie and Lynn and Nico walk, Nico insists on walking at his own pace, but Kylie refuses to leave him. Abram visits Silas and asks for his help to destroy the ancestor, and Silas sarcastically asks if Abram came to pray. Abram explains that they need Silas's crystal to guide them inside the ancestor after his death. Silas rejects the idea, explaining that the crystal is the parasite's mind and not his, and would work against them. Abram notes Silas's guilt as a skin rider, but Silas says he's given all the help he can. Abram then suggests repentance requires action, and not just seeking forgiveness. 
Nico was losing strength, and despite his pleas to be left behind, Lin decides to make a stretcher. Meanwhile, Ezra set up an ambush, eliminating the skin riders one by one before following his wife's trail. Nico transforms and grabs Lin by the throat, ready to kill her, but Kylie intervenes. Nico's companion admits that Kylie is dear to him, but insists he cannot indulge the carrier's weaknesses. When Nico raises his sword, Kylie shoots him. Ezra catches up with them, unaware that Jax was monitoring their reunion. Jax receives a message about Silas's betrayal and leaves, and Silas asks Abram to wait for his death, takes his crystal, and inserts it into the weapon so he can be in the middle part and help. Abram, though unsure of the process, thanks Silas and says goodbye, and Abram comes to his senses as Silas dies. Jax catches up with Duncan and orders an ambush while they drive to the progenitor. Lynn and Ezra bury Nico, while Fina and Abram bury Silas, and later the group meets, unaware that a black drone was watching them. Abram tells Ezra the plan to destroy the progenitor, but Ezra was hesitant. The yellow drone vaccinates Kylie, and Kylie takes tells Fina about Duncan becoming a skin rider, and Abram trusts Silas and was ready to destroy the progenitor. He explains Silas will guide them inside, and Ezra laughs at the plan and his daughter overhears. Abram and Fina urge Ezra to accept their purpose, but he remains unconvinced. Frustrated, they leave, and Ezra feels guilty, despite Lin's reminder of his duty. Kylie reviews the map to the progenitor's lake, and secretly leaves the bunker. The red drone informs her parents that they cannot find Kylie, and they realize where she is gone and rush after her. Kylie catches up with Fina and Abram, and later, Ezra and Lin join them, and they reunite, and at the lake, they fall into an ambush by the skin riders. The survivors win the battle, but Abram was seriously wounded, and Kylie suggests releasing the sparks into the lake to heal him. Duncan emerges from the water and shoots Lin and Kylie, and Fina rushes to Duncan, and they both disappear underwater. Ezra releases the sparks and brings the wounded into the water, and Fina resurfaces wounded, saying that she can't overcome Duncan. Ezra dives and finds a dying Duncan, who apologizes before losing consciousness. Ezra fixed the weapon on a glowing structure and inserts Silas's crystal. Jax appears declaring his hatred for humans, and he and Ezra fight, but the revived Duncan attacks Jax just as he was about to win. Ezra attaches the middle part of the weapon to the correct crystal and suddenly finds himself in a room with Silas. Silas explains that they were inside the progenitor and he was a Trojan horse for its destruction. Ezra explains that the box with his mother's symbol was a detonator and Silas says goodbye and they activate the bomb as Jax arrives. Ezra returns to the cave as the progenitor is destroyed, and he emerges to find his loved ones healed. A black drone observes and heads to a spaceship, where Eleanor and Duncan understand the mission was complete, and humanity now has a chance. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our recap. Like the video, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.